This is a school TV original. when I attended Kingsborough Community College. Okay. And um, I took up liberal arts, and then from there I figured out, like, you know, you know, this is not really, I want to figure out something else that I want to do. And I said, you know what, acting may be the way out for me. So I started to take classes there. And from there, my background with the classes was in performing arts. And it basically, they trained on like being in like theater and everything like that. So transitioning out from graduating out of college and then coming out to the real world, and get having a job, I haven't been working as much as I have wanted to. So when I left out of the job and everything like that, I started to pick up more work. So you know, so from now on, just to give you guys some um, little things on some things that I'm working on now, is I'm working on a TV pilot. All right, so yeah, I'm going to be in a TV pilot called The Vision 4B. I'm playing um, Mrs. Peters. I'm going to be playing like a, a church lady, and it's going to get real crazy. <laughs> what am I? Oh no! What does that mean? Huh? Yeah, so I'm playing a church lady. <laughs> yeah, all that. But um, yeah, so I'm playing a church lady, and it's gonna be crazy because it's gonna be like four characters. One is uh, Peaches, that's the mom. Then it's gonna be Hennessy, Chardonnay, and Bailey's. Is Peaches the mom? Hennessy, Bailey's, and Chardonnay, right? That's four. So Wait, ba- that, that's the name of the women. Yeah, basically. So, so they, they're named after liquors. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Uh, but I mean, it fits them because they're really crazy. And Hennessy, okay. she's the real daughter of Peaches, and then the other two are, um, they're adopted by her. Okay. And they're like four like crazy women that's gonna be like in the hood going crazy when um, they're like selling drugs and gangbangers and all that type of stuff. So it's gonna get women? really crazy. Yeah, women. Oh, shit. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be really, really, really cool. I can't wait till the first episode comes out. Yeah. Then um, another show that I'm going to be working on is um, a web series called Cousins. Okay. And I'm playing like, how can I explain it? Like, I guess like the hood girl, basically, you know? The hood All cousin right. or? Uh, the hood cousin, yeah. Well, I'm trying to always hook my girls up with like the guys and everything like that. I think I'm a little fat, <laughs> yeah, like I a like fast girl already. in the hood. I like your character oh, already. No, like, no, you're the MVP yeah. you, you, right. and you understand this. We need more women like that, you know what I mean? We need more wing, wing women out there, you know I mean? we, Yeah, we got to build bridges, not burn them. That's fast. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, uh, something that I just finished coming off of is a tour with, um, it was a, this one, it was a theater. Those other things I was talking about are TV pilots and a web series. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, the show that I just worked on was called Nobody Famous. I played an inmate, and not only was I an, in, an inmate, I was a trans, transgender woman. Really? So, really? Yeah, and it was hard for me to play, like, to, like, juggle with that and trying to, yeah, like, I'll figure out. Yeah, yeah it, it was just with like the words and everything like that with like how I would express myself on stage and everything. Some sure. people picked it up and some people didn't. Mm. So we performed our first show in Ohio, C- Columbus, Ohio, and then we came out here to New York. So okay. that was really, really cool. And oh, another show that I bad. did was called, um, what was the name of the show? Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm nah, don't worry about it. Um, back to the transgender, I have another question. So did you have to manip- manipulate your voice? Something like, yeah, in a sense, yeah. Like, it was a part where, like, I explained, like, who I was. Okay. And in that position of me explaining to the crowd of who I was, I changed up my voice just a little bit, but not too much. Okay. So, but other than that, I kind of, like, 
play with my voice, but not too much like sounding like a man. It was just more of like how I would like you know physically <laughs> move my body and everything like oh, that. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that's so interesting. And I had a man that was in love with me. That was a security guard, so it was like really funny. Oh and lord. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. So it was really really fun, wow. and um. Yeah, you know, like I said, some people got it, some people didn't, and the, the people who got it, I would just say, yeah, you guys knew, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what's um been your favorite role thus far in your career? Uh, let me see. I guess because I'm um, playing like a gangster woman because I never like, I mean, I you I like when c growing up like I was really bad and nobody would like know that because of who I am now because me right. transitioning out from being like a negative person and like always fighting and everything like okay, that when right. I was in junior high school to where I'm at now is so different so me playing this person now I'm never going to change that so me right. being able to break that out and the character I was playing in in a movie that is going to be coming out mm. um, I'm going to be basically playing like a gangster with like a gun and everything so like that's going to be like really cool like that coming out being cool. like you can't mess with me you know <laughs> so oh, people who can't believe me I'll be like go watch that movie alright because I don't want to <laughs> have to bring that side out quick question um I, and i know that this is gonna sound crazy though but uh do you like the song bodak yellow by cardi b yeah why? i do like it why you like asking it? that why i ask that because i feel like that song brings out an alter ego in women that they just want to be that gangster chick that, yeah, and that's what i, I feel from that, that song huh i told you that you told me, all right, well, then, all right. So I, I, I asked the okay, question now, all right. Well, like, damn, it. boy, you going to shoot me, I'm son? Like, <laughs> but how do you actually pick up, like, TV pilot shows? Okay, so basically, right now, I don't have an agent, and I don't have a manager. And, and it's okay to not have an agent or a manager, but, of course, like, down the line, like, building up your career, you want to get a manager and an agency so that you can book more work mm -hmm. and book, like, you know, more quality, higher work, like, like on TV networks, like ABC, right. um, Stars, and so forth. Right. So, like, me just networking with people, like, it's really important to network with people and then mm -hmm. to keep in contact with the people that you work with in previous years because once those people come out with more work, you have more work because they like how you, they work, they like your work ethics, so they want to work with you again. And then networking with people on social media, if you network with the right people, those people yeah. will either reach out to you or they're going to be hitting you up. So I have people who hit me up and be like, I want you in my, in my show. Or I want you um, on this web series I have coming out, so audition, do this audition right quick or do a self-tape. So it's really with like, okay. you know, networking with the right people, keeping in contact with the right people, and then your friends who are actors, reach out to them and ask them if they go, if you can work on the projects that they're working on. So you never know. And another thing, if you are not booking work, it's okay. Don't don't um, you know beat yourself up. What you can do is create your own content, which is what I'm going to be doing, you know, soon, creating my own stuff. Just like you know, so like people can see like if I'm not booking work, I'm about to create my own work, so people can still see I'm um, working. Um, what do you tend to do that like vlogs and or things of that nature? Like short short scene, like short comedies comedy skits. Okay. Also like, like so maybe a short film I may write. Who who knows? You know, and okay. working with other people who want to do the same thing as me. Like if we have the same vision, we we'll work together and make something work you know because I have people who hit me up and be like I want to like work with you let's make something happen and it's like okay what can we do let's do some comedy skits that's going to be coming up soon that's a, Maybe a short film you know just whatever it is like just create bring it make something happen um, and create uh, it. you know it's funny I seen you all over my timeline and that's indirectly because you worked with a lot of artists and a lot of people that I know like for example Brian Shaw shout yeah, out to Brian, to Brian yo that's our guy um I seen you worked with Wavy from Wavy's yeah, world, so yeah. yeah, man, I love it. I love it. So I love your work that thick. You don't even yeah. have to tell me how you work. I, I see it with my own eyes. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. What yeah. age did you start acting? Um, you wanted me to give you my age. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I think maybe in like my twenties or so, because that's when I attended college. In my twenties, so around wait, 20s. wait, wait, wait. What do you mean in your twenties? So you're and not twenty? I'm, Whoa, I'm, never asked a woman's age. In my 20s, he said the age I started, so I'm telling him in my 20s. I'm not really giving him my age. All in right. my 20s. In yeah, my right. 20s, okay? No, no, no. Listen, back listen, back listen I, I thought she was like, I thought she was younger than me. Honestly, when I met you, too, I, I thought she was very young. Well, how old are you? I'm 27. All right, I am younger than you. All right, so oh. <laughs> yeah, you made it seem like you was 40. Like, no, now nah, you good. No, just saying. 
Like, yeah. it was, it's not. It wasn't that long ago, but just saying, like you know, it was okay. in my twenties that I started. All right. Like, um, in college. And Listen, man. First of all, you, you're as young as you feel, anyway. So yeah, that's true. Fact, that's totally know? true. I'm like, when I'm fifty, I'm still be young. I'm still be in my early twenties. Go ahead, like, girl. You know? Let them know. Definitely. <laughs> um, I also sing too, just to let you guys know. I don't know if I can sing any sing anything today because my voice is like it sounds crazy, right? I, well, I feel it sounds crazy. Wait, so you're not, a singer too? No, yes, yeah, she I is. Yeah, I sing too. I do a lot of things. You know what I love when people come up to me and they'll be like, "What does?" she do so i'm just like you know i'm always like always coming out with something new it's like i don't want to say like i juggle with so many things like acting right now is what i'm doing to take you know right. take me off but i also have other talents like i sing i also do hair i make wigs um okay. i also take uh, uh, photo photographs sometimes right. you know just for fun like i do different things um yeah i knew you sung you wow. yeah. yeah yeah she's you know listen she's great i knew she sung and she's actually good. she's a very good singer Thank i heard you. you before i think you did a few tracks with um sparks or Suncor, I, I don't Suncor. know what. The, what up, Suncor? Suncor, what up, man? That's my guy. But um, so I, I already knew that you sung though. But um, the the hair stuff that's new to me. Yeah. I didn't know you did that. Right. And that's I I impressive. think that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Do so. you have any up and coming music videos you'll be in? Um. Oh, okay. I, actually, I do. With um, Reem Casanova. He shout outs to him, Reem Casanova. I'm gonna be doing. Well, I, I, we shot a, 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 a music video. Like, he has, like, three, like, basically, I'm trying to see how to explain it. So, basically, he has his girlfriend, he has his wife, and he has his baby mom. And I played, like, the girlfriend, but I'm, like, broken up with him and everything. So, it's going to be really crazy with this fourth video that he's going to have coming out with me, like, flirting with the girl that he was basically, like, sleeping, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, the one he cheated on me with. So, like, that's going to be really cool. That's going to be on YouTube, so if you like get, go on my website, yeah, my website is www.daniellebaskerville.com. How you spell it is D-A-N-I-E-L-L-E, B as in boy, A-S-K-E-R-V-I-L-L-E. So if you go there, you'll be able to see like all my up-and-coming work that I'm going to have. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Are you picky with roles? Like picky. when it comes to acting, are you picky? Or no? I, I am. Of I feel course. like because I'm like early on in my career and like certain things I would and wouldn't do like I don't like the sex scene whole thing like with the sex scenes you gotta switch it up yeah you know it's like it's I never did a sex scene so it's like transitioning into doing that it's like you know having to like put down my guards and know like this is just film this is just acting like don't <laughs> think too hard about it because I tend yeah, to think really right. hard about things you know well right. so, I, understandably so because you can and see kissing Oh, you don't like kissing? I mean, you gotta get familiar with that. I know. I know. That's the thing. Is like you know, with being an actress, is like so many different things that people like will expect of you, and it's like I have to like. It, either way, like if I don't want to do it, I'm not gonna do it. But if I right. feel when I get comfortable with doing those things, I have to like you know, and even come out of your comfort zone and doing stuff that you're not comfortable with. Sometimes you have it. to do it. So. Yeah, exactly. So I'm glad that you said that because you see the things that Lala is going through right now with the sex scenes oh, yeah, on yeah, Power yeah, with yeah, Tommy. Yeah. What she was going through. It. Well, you know, and you know, a, a lot. She took a lot of backlash though on social media for those sex scenes. I mm -hmm. thought it was big for a career, though. It was very big for a career. But you know Sometimes how people can be. Huh? I said, you know how people can be. Yeah, because yeah, people yeah. take t TV as reality, like it's actually going but, on. But that right means there. that's good TV, though. Yeah, if they interpret great. that as reality, right. you know, when right. Raina died, you know, a lot of people lost their shit. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. I was so. <laughs> Exactly. So, um, Danielle, what are some of the shows that you enjoy watching? Yeah. Um, I like. Let's see. I started watching watching Insecure with Issa Rae. Like, love it. That's my shit. Yeah. yeah I haven't it. been able to watch so much of it, but like, starting out with what I saw, I yeah. would definitely continue on with watching um, those shows. Uh, I like Power. Um, watching some stuff on YouTube as well because there's like so many people coming out with like web yes, series now. So much. I watched the first episode of Soul King. Um, is it Soul King? I think it's Soul Kings. If I'm not saying it wrong. Soul it's, Kings? Yeah, it's a new episode that just, a new web series that just came out. If I'm not uh -huh. saying it ro wrong, I think it's Soul Kings. And oh, I watched okay. this first episode. So it looks really interesting. It's about like basically people in New York City, I believe, where like they really represent their sneakers, like the Nikes and everything like that, how they go really hard with like selling the sneakers. Like, I'm no without these sneakers it's crazy so i just want to see what that's going to transition into okay. um money and violence also another yes, sh yeah money and violence is really cool <laughs> um I, mean, I don't even know what happened to money and violence. it just fell off like it seemed like i heard that it's on like title now so i mean it, it was on title and then they did the, the 
last season and then they're probably working on some stuff to like come out and like you know let people know like we're still here come out with something fight i hope i hope so i hope so because the last one wasn't that good but it was it was it was just a little watered down from the youtube version once you like give give it over you know you know at the ending of the day shout outs to them and i hope they come out with something more good yeah of course but um yeah, like there's like various of different shows that like I honestly then other than shows I really like watch a lot of movies and mm. what I like because as an actor I don't want to limit myself to anything I, I like to do I want to do comedy I want to do um, horror I want to do sci-fi fantasy mm. all that good really? stuff you know yeah so I like okay. to watch more movies and like web series and everything like that but I will watch more web series to support a lot of up and coming web series and everything okay. that I want to be a part of. But other than that, like, I watch a lot of movies and everything like that. I understand that you're a hard worker. Yeah. But now, you know, you're trying to advance to in a particular part of your career. So how do you feel about free work and working for free? Um, honestly, I'm okay, I'm okay with it, but it depends on, like, what like what they ask of me. To, like, what is, what is it that they're asking me to do, you know? Mm-hmm. But um, other than that, like, honestly, like, the fact that I'm still working as in, like, getting my my name up there and everything like that mm-hmm. if if i'm working with people that i know or people that i don't you know honestly at the end of the day i'll do free work i'll do free work but of course the goal is to get paid work of course you know? yeah. so like as actors like coming up if you're not like booking work like that you want to work and get like you want as long as it's like quality work and everything like that and it's yeah. not like people that's going to be bullshitting you and everything yeah, like that. That's work with them so that you can have more footage to get your reel together you know because yeah. that's what you really need for actors out there just to give some advice like to become you know a successful actor you need a reel you need your head shots you mm. want to have your website up you want to have a business page you want to be continuously networking with the right people you want to work with people rather if you're getting paid or not like some people will be like you know am i getting paid like nah all right so you can do that if you want but you may not be able to book the next work until like two years from now unless you right. cr- unless you're creating your own work so i feel like you should be able to do some free work and not like humble yourself basically you know yeah, and yeah. work with people so that's what i am like that's the type of person that i am i'll work with people rather if i'm getting paid or not but of course of course the goal is to get paid like if you want to get paid look for work that you're getting that they're um you know that they're going to be able to pay you or if they yeah. can't pay you then they'll be able to help you with a real or they'll be able to help you with booking more work with other people like see what you can get out of it you well, know that's great so, so. so basically free work again you're going to hit the curve button the free work. <laughs> I mean, you know, as I'm working my way up, like, of course, it's going to get to a point where I'm going to have to get paid for certain things because then my right. time becomes very, you know, valuable yeah, to course. certain the things that I'm doing. So if I'm doing something that's going to pay me 100000 and somebody wants to pay me less than that, it's like, if I have to do this at a certain time and do that at a certain time, it's like I have to do this first and get that out the way before I work with that person, What's you know? But at the, yeah, exactly. So it was like, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I want to continue to be humble, but it's like it gets to a point where you have to get paid. You know what I mean? Right. Now, but I was saying like tomorrow, Danielle, like tomorrow, like say I hit you up. I'm like, yo, Danielle, I got the video shoot. You know what I mean? If I'm what, free, yeah, mind? let's do it. So you're not going to hit the curve button. <laughs> no, right, no, let's do it. Right now. I'm emailing you right now. Then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah stupid. let's do it. So it can happen. It definitely will happen. Yeah. If I can make it happen. Oh, damn, we got to get our black asses out of here soon. So now, um, one of these last final questions. Now, obviously, like, you're an attractive young lady. So, Thank you. Yes. Um, so did did people offer you roles that you had to turn down because, you know, you you kind of um, flaunt your sexuality in a sense sometimes? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean by that? What, what I mean, like, um, you, you can give off this, like, little... Uh, Sexual aura, being flirtatious, yeah, being right? flirtatious a little bit. Like, oh, like wait, you wait, know, wait, I see you. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What? Oh, Lord, Lord said. Oh, you mean like right now? Like, no, no, I'm talking about like through um social media. Like, that's what I see. Oh, okay. You know, okay. no, you be up there looking good. So, so you know, do. Gotta go see my Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go check yeah. out Instagram. I'm fucking Everybody, up. I'm fucking up, she has another Instagram, Big Dreamer too. Um, everybody oh, yeah. go. Let me just give that to them. So I have my first Instagram that I started out with is Big Dreamer. It's spelled B-I-G-G-D-R-E-A-N-E-R-R. And then my other one is just my first and last name. Right. So follow me on both. Or you can follow me on whichever one that you want to. It doesn't matter. All right. Yeah, because I asked you that because I just want to understand what women go through in the industry. You know what I mean? Because ev- people probably see you as this sexual kind of sexual figure. object okay. right right mm-hmm. sexual object honestly not yet I not yet. Do that yet no all right that's phenomenal I mean, DMs yeah. is at an ultra high. 
Not really. Like, some people be like, I know people be in your DMs. Like, people be in my DMs, but not, like, crazy, crazy, you know, more like. Yeah. Not exactly. crazy. More for work. But for work. And then some people, like, will flirt with me, too. But it's like, if you not if you don't want to work, I'm not really interested, you know. Yeah, that's, a, that's a copy. And yeah, just to give you a heads up, you see the guy behind you to your right? He mm-hmm. might slide in your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, slide in my DMs. I'll say what up. I'll say what up. <laughs> I'll say what up. <laughs> I'll say what up. <laughs> Yo, you stupid, man. Y'all, y'all look crazy, man. Man, it's good. It was good to see you, man. Um, it's been way too long. Hopefully, you know we could uh we could all link up some yeah. other time. And like, I'll be back here too. You know, with some new fire. And yes, please. I sing for you guys when I come. Oh back. yes, please. Honestly, you could rap right now if you want to. No, um, I don't rap. I don't rap. Nah, <laughs> yo, 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 <laughs> fluke. Yo, get that um. Beetle, yo, yo, nah. yo, fluke. Nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not to turn it down. Yo, Fluke, you got that um for the dick challenge beat? <laughs> Yo, you got that. I'm playing. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. Uh, go ahead, spot. girl. Let them know. Oh, nah. goodness. Nah, I'm playing. But, uh, but yeah, so. We'll definitely get another show yeah. like, written by you or whatever. Just come back. Yes, please. Oh, and, you already I, and I love that you're writing, too. You're not staying in one box. I, yeah, I love no. that. Yeah, for any actor, that's also another like a piece of advice. Like, create your own content content so that you'll be able to put what you can, you know, position yourself into whatever role that you want to do. Like, if you're not getting picked up for a lawyer role, then create mm-hmm. that role yourself so that people can see that you can play this character, you know? Yeah. And put it on YouTube and let people see that this is what I want to do and this is what you want. That's phenomenal. You know, pick me for so. So everybody that's Daniel um, Baskerville. Mm-hmm. Yes, got it, baby. Yes, I got it. Um, so this is her and everybody check out. Stay tuned, guys. Yo, DJ oh, Fluke, take down. us out. <laughs> I told y'all get your name right. Hey. Hopefully, just go with the flow. Or they will get thrown off the boat. Whoever can't swim, get drowned with the coke. Chain to a brick, so I ain't traced to the flip. My legs about the anything, things to get rich. Hook the homies while I'm diving in your bitch. Not sidetracked, then let the beef from a dish. You don't even know who I'm fucking with. Blood to the head.